Hello, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Matt Links. Well, you guessed it. I'm here to do another video. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Talking about Pluto and Aquarius in the Zodiac. In this video series, I talk about the evolutionary intent of my friend Pluto and my Pluto people. Come on in. Pluto and Aquarius in the Zodiac. In the birth chart, we're up to the sixth house. We're going to talk it's about how to make this transit, how to get the best out of this transit, how to understand what Pluto, my friend, your friend, wants to help you with in that sixth house of yours. What it wants to liberate you from, free you from. All right, all you new people, please click like and subscribe. It helps me so much promote my channel. Helps motivate me to do these videos. Also, in the description below, you're going to see a link to get up reading with me. I also have a new reading I'm doing. It's a 45-minute Pluto and Aquarius reading. I'm trying to keep this super affordable. Also, there's a few spots left in my Saturn and Pisces webinar. Check the link in the description. All right, without any further ado, that's, that's kind of be Virgo. That's kind of be on time. Let's get this done. Let's get this started. Let's talk us about some Pluto. Aquarius in the sixth house. So you find yourself as a soul incarnated into a body with the planet Pluto transiting through Aquarius in your sixth house. How timely are you? So it's interesting, doing a little Virgo. I want to talk a little, you know, kind of put one one foot in front of the other, put the, the right foot first and then the left foot. So for all you new to astrology folks and some of you folks that have been in astrology, we're just going to do a little review here real quick. So each house, if you think about the birth chart as a circle divided up into 12 pieces, each one of those pieces is called a house, and it represents a piece of life. And then there's 12 signs, and each sign has a house that it's affiliated with. And so when I'm talking Virgo, even though I'm saying Aquarius, the sixth house is naturally affiliated with Virgo. So to understand your sixth house, you might look to where your Mercury is or where you have anything in Virgo, you know? And then also, we got this, your sixth house is in Aquarius. So often, what's going on here is there's kind of the natural zodiac. It's Aries in the first house, Pisces in the twelfth house, and around the circle we go. But very few people actually have that chart. Some people do, but very few people do. And so, you'll have houses and signs that are mixed up. And so you got Aquarius in the 12th, or excuse me, Aquarius in the 6th house, Leo in the 12th house. And so we're going to dive deep into this, understanding the 6th house. I highly recommend you looking at the other videos in this video series on the Pluto and Aquarius. I've done a bunch that will really help you understand what the deeper meaning of this transit is. And in this video, I'm going to particularly talk to you and your birth chart and the sixth house to help you understand. Also, if you're struggling, if you're feeling like this transit's a lot, you might really like that reading I'm offering. Highly recommend it for you folks out there. All right, so the sixth house, the house of Virgo. On some levels, the sixth house is a very physical house. It's the house of skills. Mentors, being a mentor, having mentors, doing the right thing, timeliness, you know, brushing your teeth, all those things that kind of make the world go around, you know, showing up on time, being where you're supposed to be, kind of putting one foot in front of the other, you know, the left foot first or the right foot first, which one works, which one doesn't. And so to have Aquarius there, Aquarius is kind of where you need to kind of, so to speak, do things different. So you got the do things different and the do things right and mix it all up. And it's like, what am I talking about? Am I doing that Gemini thing and talking out both sides of my mouth? And on some levels, I am, you know. But let's unpack do things right. What does that mean? Well, right is a label 
put on things by society. You know, you go back 200 years and there was the right way of te treating your wife, treating your children. You know, a couple hundred years ago, there was a right way of treating your slave. You know, your servant is another six house term. You know, fast forward to 2023, and there isn't a right way to treat your slaves, so to speak. It's not right to have slaves. And that's an Aquarian. You know, 100, 200 years ago, not having slaves would be an Aquarian thought. In 2023, it's like normal. And so you're kind of pushing the edge of what's right and wrong with that Aquarius. Now, it's really easy to kind of drop into the lower manifestation of Aquarius, like not fitting in, you know. And that's really not what's going on here. That's where my friend Pluto's going to come trenching into that house and kind of liberate you from all these bad ideas of the Aquarian, you know, not fitting in, not having a, a, a family, a friends, a collective that supports you. And also, I want to kind of look to the other side of the zodiac to understand this even more. Because what are you bringing in with that Aquarian energy? Well, you go to the other side, 12th house in Leo, that spiritual aspect. Having Leo in the 12th house, the house of faith, the house of spirituality, needing to be seen up there. Well, it's kind of interesting when you think about it. Needing to be seen in the house that you can't see. It's like the minute you think you understand the 12th house, you're pretty much doomed because you can't, newsflash, you can't understand the 12th house. If you could understand it, it wouldn't be in the 12th house. The 6th house, on the other hand, you can kind of understand it. So this Pluto is kind of trying to help you liberate all this 12th house stuff that you're trying to ground into physical reality. And where you have Aquarius, quite often there's a lot of trauma. You know, because history's littered with people, you know, that lost their lives, you know, into that physical reality, so to speak, lost their sixth house because they spoke to the wrong people, you know, did that Aquarian thing to the wrong people. And all of a sudden they found that they were looking for a new zodiac, as in dead, Jim. So, Aquarius, are you supposed to throw the messenger under the bus to bring in the new messenger? A lot of astrologers might say that, not me, not my friend Pluto, not your friend Pluto. But you got to understand the, the, the ego, the trauma from the past, the trauma from childhood gets us kind of addicted to shocking people. And if you're shocking people, inherently you're talking to the wrong people. Because the right audience will be, wow, that's profound. The wrong audience will be like, wow, that's shocking. And so you got that Leo in the 12th house. Wanting to be seen. You share it with the wrong audience and you're shocking. You share it with the right audience. It's like, wow, that's profound. My friend Pluto is going to come around and, hey, stop sharing your pearls with swine. Stop sharing yourself with the wrong people. Discernment is the sixth house, Virgo. Discernment. Aquarian discernment. The difference between shocking and profound is the audience. Use some of that six house Virgo discernment to not speak a peep in front of the wrong audience and then spill that Leo 12th house heart out in front of the right audience. Some of us, this is what this transit's really wanting to get out of you, really wanting to help you. And so you can look to some other things in your chart to help you better understand this. When I do readings with people, well, first of all, I really look to early childhood trauma because early childhood trauma and the stories that you're still telling yourself about who you are, you know, that no longer serve you. Oh, I don't fit in. No one gets me. The world's so harsh. They, they just don't understand the right and wrong. If they could just get it. My world would be so much better. Well, that's the world with the wrong people. Step into the world with the right people and they're like, oh, it's so nice that someone can understand me. Not everyone, but at least someone can. That's where my friend Pluto's going to come into this house and kind of liberate you from your old ideas. Newsflash, the ego ain't like that. 
That's why Pluto gets a bad rap because the ego, us astrologers, man, we all have egos. We all have egos that can kind of need to be checked, so to speak. You know, when people are telling you about bad and hard or difficult placements, in my opinion, they're talking from their ego. Because if you look up to the sky, you look up at the stars, you look up at the planets, point to what's difficult up there. It's like you can't. It's like you almost start laughing when you look up at the beautiful night sky and think, oh, that's a bad placement. It's like, what makes you think you're qualified to, to judge the divine, to judge the natural world as being good or bad? I know you got a big Aquarius Virgo six house type of thing, but are you really qualified or are you stepping above your pay grade? And so that Pluto's going to come through and help you find the right audience. Channel that 12th house Leo through the lens of the right audience to the ears that can want to hear you, the ears that want to celebrate you and your wisdom. That's what this transit really wants, is for you to be celebrated for you and your wisdom. Use the discernment to be quiet around the people you shouldn't talk to and speak to the people you should. Be quiet around the people you shouldn't talk to and speak. And I don't mean literally speak. And there's all sorts of different ways to communicate 12th house stuff. You know, art, there's so many different ways. But the trick is, be quiet around the people that can't get you, the people that you shock. And speak to the people who are like, wow, that's so profound. All right. I think it's time to transition to thank you so much for watching this video. And have a spectacular day.